Hi, ladies and gentlemen, this is Christelle Martinet with a new reading for the month of January 2018, which will be a first a five card spread using a tarot deck called Tarot of the Sacred Feminine, and you'll see that. And I'll, as clarifiers with the five card spread, I'll use a rather old Vida Sibila deck that I use sparingly because it is so old. And to crown that reading, I'll be using a um, set of runes, one of the first runes that I have ever had, which are emerald runes. This is all because I'm doing this before the holiday season. Now, um, in terms of the year spread, I'll be using a mini grand tableau, a Lenormand mini grand tableau. For those of you who uh, read with the tab with the uh, Lenormand will recognize these particular cards and they have a, an explanation in English in the square and and the pictures are uh, characteristic of the cards with the numbers here at the top and the way I'll do that is I'll have an inner I carve out an inner uh, four by four rows of a grand tableau, so it will be a mini tableau. I won't go into the technical side and bore those people who don't read these cards, but um, they'll, that will, we'll see, you'll see how it will work for each sign. Now, before I close and get on to the readings, I just wanted to say I know that this holiday season for many is a bit difficult, especially if you are in alone or if you feel alone. Um, I will be working uh, during the holidays, uh, unfortunately, sometimes, yeah, I have to. Um, so you may want to consider not simply a reading, but something that will go a little bit more in depth, like past life regression or some form of hypnosis. And uh, consider that if you're interested, write to me, go to my website, you'll get my contact or you'll see it in this um, video clip. Uh, underneath probably or somewhere and um, we'll see if we can set it up all right now I think I have nothing uh, without further ado as they say let's get on to the readings ladies and gentlemen hi Libra it's Christelle here Martinet and I'm here with another reading for you for the month of December so December, it's January, January 2018. Sorry about that, Libra. January 2018. Time is going so fast sometimes. It moves so fast. The idea of moving time. Okay, let's see what's in store for you, Libra, for January 2018. Okay. Some funny business here. Okay, this is the Queen, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Devil card, the Three of Swords. And the star card. <laughs> this is the star card. The star. All right, look. Um, there is, I'm going to take the Vera Sibila right away over this devil because it's, as soon as I see something I don't like, I uh, want to get that out of the way. And indeed, because I'm having right next to the devil card is this three of swords. And before I start saying, look, there is trouble in the city here, let me take a look. Because this beautiful queen of um, wands Libra opens the, uh, uh, the spread. Then this Four of Wands takes over. The two Four of Wands is knighting, is um, mirroring the Three of Swords, which bodes well. But I have this relationship, one, three, five, the Queen of Wands, the Devil, and the Star. And so I'm, don't, I'm not too concerned with that um, Devil, but let's just take a look right away. 
Okay, all right, this is what I expected. Um, I have the, the Donna di Servizio, which is a vastly helpful card for you. Um, the, this house servant, the female maid. Uh, Belvedere, bright future and money. Now, what I'm seeing is that you have been working hard and long, uh, Libra, on a um, specific project, project. And what I'm getting is that that's getting the better of you, the best of you. You're spending almost too much time. But similar to this star card, that is the outgoing card, <laughs> the lighting is terrible here. Okay. Similar to that outgoing card, I've got here success. It's just talking success. That your efforts are going to be paid off. But the extra added mile that you have gone is going to put a dent in your style for those around you, for the people that you deal with. Let me take a few more cards here. Um, going right over that Three of Swords, Libra, talking about the month of January. Okay, now before we had the house servant, the female house servant, now we have the male servant. The male servant, Viaggio, is a, a movement card. And then we have the female lover, Amatrice. Now, what I'm getting is it, the, the, the surface value of the cards are so ambiguous. But what I have with the Vira Sibilla is that there is another story behind these cards. That you have come through a gateway of experience whereby um, both on the male side and the females, we're talking Libra, both males and females, are poised to be um, facing a 2018 ushering, ushered in by the month of January, where there is potential for movement, literally moving out of a place where you have uh, been living for such a long time, and m moving along toward another person. There is someone coming in and someone going out. This is what I'm getting for the month of January. Let me take the um, the runes cards to the runes cards, the runes to cast, and see what they have to say. Uh, Ingvats, Ingvats is a card that is going to serve you well. And Otala, together they are spelling success. And success in movement, because there is, um, if you have a doubt, any doubt, Libra, if you're thinking about whether to go or not, is it the best time now to invest in something new? These two runes are saying definitely there is. And um, Yera is beating time. And it has to do with the financial input. That means if you can decide whether to have a monetary value go out all in one lump sum or um, in installments, the installment plan is the best plan for you. Take it in a long term. Um, spread your investment over a long period. Because the um, uh, Feho Bright Stave is, you're going to get a, a return on any investment if it's done and in a long term fashion. Ingvats, Ingvats and Otala are telling you that there is success in the stars here. There is success. And, you know, Belvedere also tells you this. There's very, very odd. It's your efforts, this overworking, this obsession, this is the devil, and that's what it's talking about. It's the obsession that you have had up until now, up until January, with making plans of some sort, working toward a goal, is going to pay off, Libra. And hence, the star card as an exit card. Okay, let's see what the rest of the year holds for you. Let me pull these cards up, Libra, and then... set the stage for our Lenormand, Lenormand deck. Now, the Lenormand deck is a deck of 
36 cards, so to shuffle them, it's quite different from the tarot or those Sibylas that are 78 and 52. Let's take a look at what's in store for you, Libra, in 2018. Okay, now I've got the first quarter, which is January, February, March, the first quarter of the year. You as being true to some kind of, just hold on, before I go into this, I have to take a look. There you go. Okay interesting you've got here. All right, now, for the first uh, quarter, January, February, March, I'm seeing here that you're very true to a person and you're true to a plan that you have enacted. And it has to do with you coming of age. There's a, a um, an important phase of maturity that you have, you feel like you have finally reached. And it's going to serve you well in terms of your livelihood, your work. Um, and when I lay these uh, cards, they fall in houses and they're numbered cards. So when that card uh, is falls on its own house, it, it gathers even stronger meaning. And I'll discuss that towards the end. But the first quarter also... Uh, sees us as being, sees you, Libra, as being true to a strategy that you have worked out over the years. And again, there's, it seems that there are two planes that are walking, are, are traveling hand in hand, both your livelihood, your work, and a relationship, because you are ready to, to either marry someone, uh, propose to someone, communicate your desire to, um, to pair up with seriously with someone. Um, not only that, there, this can also play out in terms of getting a partner in your business, finally saying yes to a partner for your business. And this is the first three months of the year. Now we have the second quarter, which is April, May, June. And I've, I see here a lot of talk, a lot of talk that concerns your work. Not only that, it's bringing the ideas that you've had and that you've coveted so jealously, bringing it to the fore and for all to see, making it public enjoying the communication of this plan, this project, and communicating it to everyone. It's finally seeing the light of day because it will be that, bringing it out, that is going to give you a complete transformative nature, give you a transformative nature of that plan from something being hidden and you jealously coveting it, all of a sudden you're going to be bringing it out and it will be for everyone, there for everyone to see. And that's going to be very transformative for you. Here I see also as well, there's going to be a lot of talk about love, a lot of talk about, I, you know, do see some uh, taking it to the next level, Libra. There's going to be talk of an engagement as well for those of you who are partnered. And if you are not, you will be uh, starstruck all of a sudden. There's going to be a nervous energy around the um, idea, the notion of coming together. I hear uh, the uh, the royalty, the the English royalty, who's you know uh, are getting married. Uh, Meghan Markle are they're they're getting married in the spring, you know, and the prince and and I'm seeing this as something that is going along those same in, in the spring whatever it is, it's May, I believe, I think. Well, this is the second quarter. This is um, April, May, and June. And I'm seeing that in the same way, parallel timing to that. Interesting, the general readings now, remember that. I'm going to the third quarter, which is 
um, July, August, and September, I see a very, very mature decision being made with respect to going public. Again, there's this event that's going to emerge and it's going to be announced to everyone. Very, very lucky, very, very warm-natured, and very, very successful. Okay, you've paid your dues, it looks like, Libra. 2018 is payback time for you. The third quarter, July, August, and September, Libra, also have to do with, um, how can I put it, um, a decision to travel as well, you know, with your loved one. This is going to try to wed business with pleasure, but you're going to think, well, maybe let's just make it pleasure, it looks like. Um, going into the fourth quarter now, the fourth quarter is the last three months, the Libra period, October, November, and then December. Um, I'm seeing the fourth quarter as uh, the, by far, the most transformative period. And it has to do basically, apart from the romance, the emotional side to your life, it has to do basically with your work. There's a lot of movement between the third and the fourth quarter, a lot of movement. And it's um, the, the cards are telling you, Libra, that this is the moment when it is best for you to enact movement, to take uh, yourself away. Because the more you're moving, the more you're expanding what you're doing, with your business, with your livelihood, the more successful you will be. And if you have any doubt as to whether you should or not, now this is the year to do that. Now I'm going to go into uh, each individual aspect of this spread for the year 2018. First of all, talking we talk of beginnings and endings. You're very, very faithful to the idea and to the notion of wanting to close something and open another. You have it planned. You ha actually come into 2018 with a, um, a very precise plan as to what you want to Con, what to want to achieve in the in the year 2018. Not only um, you do, as I said, there's a parallel um, movement between your work and your romance, and this is going to um, keep up the entire year. Um, what I'm seeing here is that the surprise element of the year will actually be how you will become swept away with romance unexpectedly. It will be a surprise for you. Um, now, the definite endings that will occur is something that you decide out of maturity, something that you have long considered that it would be now the time to put an end to that. And, and you do, with great maturity. Communication. Most of the communication will evolve around your work, your livelihood, and how to best become more balanced between your livelihood and your emotional life. Um, your work and livelihood, if there is one field that you, one aspect of the year, it is precisely that. It is precisely that because you will be so um, prepared so you have plan A, plan B, plan C. If this doesn't work, then that will work. You have all the building blocks put into place. And if something goes wrong here, you know exactly what to then uh, do. Um, there is the sense of security. The act, the sense of security during 2008 is comes to you from having uh, the possibility to converse with others openly about what you desire. But it also comes from a physical relation that you have, actual physical intimacy that you have. That will be giving you a great sense of security. Gui guidance comes to you from the public. This is a year when you will find that your um, greatest guidance comes from people you meet in public and what you share with them in public. 
Usually I would say the aspect of home, home is where the heart is. This year, home is where transformation takes place. Home is where you completely transform what means home to you. That is, is, is a different concept. What was home for you in the past, 2016, 2017, this year is going to be revolutionized. Now, public life is going to see you announcing an engagement, announcing a contract, announcing a takeover, announcing something of you coming together with someone, somebody or something. Could be a business, could be a business partnership, or it could be, it could be and or, but what I'm seeing here is more or, one or the other. And it is a partnership that will only be very, very positive. I have excellent, beautiful cards for you, um, Libra. Excellent cards, as a matter of fact. And um, what I'm seeing for the obstacles, you know, you can't go wrong. In the house of the obstacles, I have here a, a what would be tantamount to an engagement, a wedding, coming together, coming together even for business, but it's a mutual agreement and, and it's mutually beneficial. I have here for you the decisions that ha need to be made in 2018 are of utmost importance. Not only are they important, they are destined to be made only anything, you have a 50-50 chance. When you choose A or B, normally, the road less traveled, the one you don't choose, is something that you think about in hindsight. But this year, I'm getting here because the, uh, the, the card of the crossroads has gone into its house. It is no matter what you choose. You come out smelling like a rose, Libra. And um, the my, the nuisances, the difficulties that crop up during the uh, year 2008 are seamlessly dealt with because you tend to keep movement. Uh, uh, your, your actions keep you moving and you deal, that's the way you deal with, and these cards are suggesting that that is the best way to deal with, um, with your nuisances. Try to change channels with that uh, metaphorical remote. You know, if this is not going to work, let's try another scenery. Let's try another place. Now, <clears throat> in terms of something hidden, there's hidden communication that will surprise you. Uh, communication that comes to you when you least expect it. Those, that's an, both an element of surprise and something that is hidden in the year 2018. It's hot, hidden from your view. That's why it becomes a surprise. All of a sudden you'll hear from people from the past. Um, you will be surprised with uh, a letter from uh, an old lost friend from a faraway country and it will only bring joy to your heart. Beautiful, beautiful spreading uh, spread Libra. Now, uh, in in terms of uh, the type of communication you should opt for best, I'm seeing that um, you're most blessed with communication, oral communication. Oral communication is where you will be most successful in this year, 2018. Now the um, anima animus, the male and female side to your story and the males and females in your life. Male influences are those which will be most beneficial in all aspects of your life. You'll play this, overhear this in the future because you won't, you know, you can say, well, it doesn't resonate, but then you have to go wait until the year is over to take a look back. The female influences also, if the male influences your male side, your rational side can be most successful, bring you success, it is the female side and females in your life could be uh, wives, mothers, sisters, things like this, are those which bring you most luck. They are lady luck, you know, for you. Well, Libra, this was an interesting spread for me, and I'm so happy that it is, I mean, I, this is the first of all of that, the spreads that I have uh, made for this 
season as I think it might even be the best. <laughs> Libra, it was such pleasure for me to read with you, read for you as well. Namaste and do have a nice holiday season until we read together again. Bye-bye, Libra.